Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 15, verse 15 and 16, working through the prodigal son. Here we go. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. So this is the prodigal, right? This is the son that said, said that terrible thing to his father. Give me my inheritance. I'm out of here. And it was totally unreasonable. And, and yet the father went ahead, went ahead, gave him his portion. And he went out. He wastes the money. He's buying all the, all the ridiculous stuff, uses it up. And now what happens? A famine comes in the land. We saw that yesterday morning. And notice here he's reduced to feeding the pigs, feeding the swine. Now, this might not mean a lot to you, uh, but if you're a Jewish person, this would mean something to you. The lowest thing, the, the pig is an unclean animal. In fact, the unclean animals are found in Genesis uh, when Noah is loading the ark. I mean, this is before there was ever a Jew like Abraham. So it's not like some people say, oh, some people say, oh, this is just a Jewish thing, the clean and unclean animals. No, go to the book of Genesis. In Genesis 6 and 7 there, uh, where they're loading the ark, uh, you have the unclean going in. And the clean go in by sevens and the unclean go in in twos. And so that's before there's any Jewish people. But what do we have here? Feeding a pig would be the most, feeding the pigs is, is a, 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 a very low position for a Jewish person to be in. This would just be kind of the height of shame. And, uh, but to, to make a few, to the tiniest amount of money, just to, just to put a little fraction of food in his mouth, he wants to even eat the pig, the food that he's feeding the pigs. He can't even do that. And so he's just bare subsistence, and he's feeding the pigs. This is a total humiliation, and there must have been a lot of serious thinking that happened there as the pigs were snorting up and eating up all this food, and he himself was hungry as he watched the pigs even eat. I think there was a lot of heart-searching going on at that time. We need to pray for any of our loved ones who've left home, who know the truth of God, and they've, they've walked out into the world. We need to pray that they will have an experience that leads them to, to finally put their brain on and begin to reflect and begin to think about what God would be possibly willing to do for their wayward hearts if they'll just return. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your great mercies. Oh, Lord, bless, we pray, uh, those friends and loved ones who have stepped away. Help them to have an experience, if it's feeding pigs or something humiliating, Help them to have whatever it takes and experience to draw them back toward the cross of Christ. We pray and ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the Lord is good, and he's good all the time. And he is even good when you go away from him and treat him like dirt. He still loves you, and he's still calling you home. May the blessings of God be upon you.